All right, look, I didn't want to be the one to have to do this, but what in the hell is the difference between all these dressings? You got Catalina, French, Russian, and then whatever this is, Western. Like my mind says they all taste the same, right? But I don't, I don't know. Maybe they don't. So we're here in the car kitchen for science. I've only ever had French. Like when I was a kid, my mom would buy it, but I never really liked it. I was, I was always a ranch girly. Ranch bitches. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. If you're, if you like French, then are you French? Russian Western Catalina B Yes, I totally made four different salads for this because I'm just unhinged, you guys. I'm unhinged. I feel like these kind of dressings only go with one kind of salad. You know the salad. It's like the raggedy little iceberg lettuce salad. Usually it's like cheese, ham, tomato, bacon, croutons. Starting with Catalina. Okay, first of all, I'm not a huge craft fan. I don't know why. I feel like craft usually just kind of tastes like plasticky or something. The number one ingredient is tomato puree. Even the color just looks like I don't know. It's like pink. Oh God, it looks so gross. Comment what your favorite one is out of all these dressings. And then what should I do with all these dressings after I'm done? Watch your face. Catalina B. Mm. Okay, that's surprisingly not bad. That's actually really good. It is very sweet, but because everything in there is so savory, it works. Okay, next we have French tomato paste. Some paprika. Got some onion. Oh, okay. I just got a little excited. Isn't that sad? What am I doing with my life? Whoa, that was a lot. It's looking like barbecue sauce more than anything. Watch your face. It's way sweeter. I like the Catalina better than the French. This tastes like I'm eating barbecue sauce on a salad. Next, we have Russian. Never had this one. I didn't even know this existed until I started buying the other ones. And I was like, oh, there's a Russian now? Looks the exact same thing as this. Ingredients look the same, but like, I don't like, what the heck? We'll, we'll find out. We'll find out. Ooh, she is thick. Super, super red. Again, looks like barbecue sauce. Oh, what is that? Oh, that smells, that smell just completely threw me. That doesn't smell anything like what I thought it was gonna smell like. Ah. Uh. Watch your face. Gotta get the bacon. Oh my God, what is this? Oh, I'm so confused. I'm getting like an Asian something. I mean, it's pretty good, but I can't figure it out. Okay, this one has orange juice and lemon juice, and this one does not. And last, we have Western. Never in my life heard anyone say, can I get Western dressing? Just saying. It feels very 80s. Lasso a bottle today. Okay. Oh, my bad. Watch your face. I forgot my specialty fork today, so I got this raggedy little plastic one. Okay, let's rate them worst to best. And honestly, yet again, I'm surprised. See, this is why I love doing this because you think you know yourself, but it turns out you have no idea who you are. Coming in last for me is the French. It's way too sweet. And right next to that for worst is gonna be Western because these two taste the exact same. Second place is Russian. I was not prepared for the flavor of that. That little kiss of orange. Coming in number one is Catalina. I'm shocked because like, in the beginning, I judging like a mofo over here. I'm like, I don't like craft. Look at the color, it's pink. It was a little bit sweet, but it's not as sweet as these. And it just balances the bacon, the tomato, all the savoriness, and then just having a little kiss of that sweetness. If you enjoyed this video, you could check out this one where I try all the new Hidden Valley ranches. Also, while you're here, give me a subscribe. You know, let's support each other in this endeavor of trying things.